Iran and Russia threaten to react to U.S. aggression in Syria as Boris Johnson tells Putin to pull Moscow's forces out. Iran and Russia have threatened to hit back if the U.S. follows up on its air strike in Syria last week, ramping up tensions in the Middle East. It comes after Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson cancelled the trip to Moscow and prepared a new diplomatic offensive against Russia. He is also set to urge the Russians to pull their forces out, something which would involve a major loss of face for President Putin. 89 people, including 33 children, died on Tuesday after a nerve agent was used in an attack on the rebel-held town of Khan Shikun in northern Syria. The Assad regime has denied it was responsible and the Russians have claimed it was a false flag incident carried out by jihadists who want to stir up tensions between Russia and the U.S. President Trump infuriated Moscow when he authorized an airstrike on a Syrian airbase on Friday, which killed at least six people. British Defense Secretary Sir Michael Fallon said today it was the right call for the Americans to bomb the airbase as retribution for a barbaric a moral and illegal act by Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, who he described as a Russian proxy. But in a joint statement the Russian and Iranian said, we will respond to any aggression. The Sun reported that a joint command center in Syria said, what America waged in an aggression on Syria is a crossing of red lines. From now on we will respond with force to any aggressor or any breach of red lines from whoever it is and America knows our ability to respond well, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani earlier condemned flagrant U.S. aggression on Syria following the Tomahawk strike on al-Sharat. While Russia's support for the Assad regime dates back to the 1970s and 80s when Bashar's father, Hafez, was a stalwart supporter of the Soviet Union and an implacable enemy of Israel. Iran's support is based on religion. Assad is from the Alawite minority and has long nursed fears of a rebellion by the Sunni majority and has welcomed the support of Iran an overwhelmingly Shia Muslim country which also has reason to fear Sunnis. Boris Johnson, who was due to visit Russia tomorrow for talks with counterpart Sergei Lavrov, said yesterday, We deplore Russia continued defense of the Assad regime. He called off the visit at the last minute after a midnight phone call with U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson which led to accusations by Russia that Britain had no independent foreign policy. Lavrov spoke to Tillerson last night, and he reportedly told the American that an attack on a country whose government is fighting against terrorism is only playing into extremists' hands. Mr. Johnson said, We deplore Russia continued defense of the Assad regime even after the chemical weapons attack on innocent civilians, he said. My priority is now to continue contact with the U.S. and others in the run-up to the G7 meeting on 10 to 11 April. Mr. Johnson then called on Russia to do everything possible to bring about a political settlement in Syria and work with the rest of the international community to ensure that the shocking events of the last week are never repeated. But Alex Almond, the SNP's foreign affairs spokesman, said Johnson's move made him look him some sort of mini-me who cannot be trusted to hold his own talks with Lavrov. Salman said, Boris Johnson just looks daft. What is the argument for not going ahead with a visit? Rex Tillerson is going on Wednesday so it can't be that we have moved to a Cold War position of no talking whatsoever.